Hi there friends, it's Cassie. Welcome back to my YouTube channel for another video. Today we are going to be making some cards with that Spellbinders quick and easy card kit for January 2023. These are the contents. I did do an unboxing and I'll have that linked down below, but let's just jump right into making some cards. I am going to be using the add-on die. Uh, so this is something separate than the kit itself. You can get it as an add-on and um, it's just the die itself that, that is the add-on. And I'm going to show you the pieces and how I already cut these out. We cut out a bunch of leaves. Uh, we cut out the pot and the face that goes with it. And now I know that those are actually supposed to be eyebrows, but I wanted this to look a little bit more masculine. So I did not add the little eyelashes to this one. Um, I, I did cut the eyelashes out of some yellow cardstock just to show you what those look like, but I decided I wanted a more masculine pot. So I'm taking all of the little pieces from the face and I'm tacking those down to some mint tape. I'm going to color them this way and I just figured this would be a little bit easier way to color them if they're stuck down to something. And so I'm bringing in some alcohol markers just to color those up a little bit. And so we'll use some peach for the cheeks and then I'm just going to use like a black one for the mouth the nose and what I'm calling the eyes. So so it just kind of looks like his eyes are closed there if I if I just, you know, use the eyebrows as eyes. <laughs> it can be seen both ways. And then I will use a, a Copic or I mean a, an alcohol marker on a couple of the other pieces of the pot just to make sure that those are a little bit distinguishable from the pot. I'm going to take some washi tape and just put that all along the back. That'll make it really easy to put the pieces back in. You could skip this and just um, attach it right down to your your card panel if that's what you want to do. But at this point, I honestly wasn't sure if I wanted to pop this up on some foam tape. So I'm putting the washi tape behind it. I'm going to use some glue, so a little bit of liquid glue in each of those holes just to make sure that that really does stick to the washi tape. Because sometimes washi tape can be a little finicky. So I'm going to use my pickup stick and put all the little pieces right back in place but the glue is there to make sure that that doesn't go anywhere. We've got our mouth and then we have our eyes. And there they are um, the eyes. I put the first one in the wrong spot, so I just pop it out and just move it over to the other side. And it probably would have been fine to leave it as is, but I could tell. All right, so now the little face is ready. We're gonna attach the other pieces of the pot to it and then I'm going to cut down my cardstock. This is some of that patterned paper that came in the kit. This stuff is great layering paper. It's not real thick, so it's really nice. And so that way uh, it doesn't make your card super bulky. But I cut this down to be four inches by five and a half inches. So it's gonna have a little bit of a border on the left and the right hand side. I'm taking one of the chipboard frames that came in the kit peel off that release paper. Love that about these, that they are self-adhesive. And I'm just going to stick that down, trying to center it up a little bit. You have a little bit of wiggle room with that. And then I'm kind of playing around with the idea of where those leaves are going to be and how they're going to stick out. But I'm going to use the double-sided tape for most everything that I am adhering down to all the cards that I use. So I'm not going to show you the whole process the entire time because you get the gist you put down that double-sided adhesive and I use a pickup stick just with that little poker piece to peel off the release paper it just makes it a little easier um, it gets under there a lot lot simpler rather than using my fingers which can be a little bit bulky at times and then I'm just gonna stick him down I thought about popping it up with foam tape and then I thought if I do that I'm gonna have to do the same thing with all of the leaves now I'm just going to use liquid glue here. You could probably find a way to use the double-sided adhesive, but I think we all have some form of liquid glue. And for those little stems, it just was a little bit easier. I think that these kits are geared more for either beginners or people on the go or quick cards. That's why it's called quick and easy. And so, um, that may not appeal to everybody because there isn't a stamp in this, but you can make some beautiful cards very quickly. Uh, I'm going to end up making five cards in this full 17 minute video, but I have so many supplies left over that I could make a bunch more. You just have to bring in a few more card bases, but you know, the, the kit comes with eight. So that's a lot to be able to play around with, you know, lots of ideas. And I know that there are a ton of ideas out there in the galleries 
just go take a look. If you are unsure of what to do, go take a look there and you will be filled with ideas for how you can use these kits. And um, yeah, lots of lots of ideas. I'm sticking to only using the papers that came in the kit. So the, all the green, all the, the colors that I die cut out, those all came from the card panels that were in this kit. Uh, the only thing that I brought from the outside, like I said, was that liquid glue otherwise, and my, my Copics or my, um, alcohol inks. Otherwise, everything that I am using comes from within these kits. So these are great on the go kits and yeah, I'm definitely going to have a lot of fun with these. So I'm just continuing to fill him in with lots and lots of foliage. Uh, I could have probably maybe added some shadowing or shading to the leaves themselves just to add a little bit more dimension, but I think this looks pretty cute the way that it is. Um, it's a cute little pot. And yeah, I'm going to keep going. I think I'm going to add one more and then the rest are actually going to go on the inside of the card. So that was fun to piece together. I had no real idea of how I wanted it to look. I just started grabbing pieces, but you could be a little bit more deliberate with that if you wanted. I'll pull in the puffy stickers. I'm going to use these puffy stickers for the sentiments for all of my cards. And that one says, thanks for helping me bloom. thought that was sweet to go along with that image. Later on, I do add some of the self-adhesive gems that are in the kit. Uh, but I don't show you that. You will see it in the picture at the end um, because I just, I, it's like I forgot for a second that I had them, even though I think they were one of my favorite things in this kit. And then I realized afterwards that there they were. All right, so peel off all that release paper. We'll stick this down to our card, leaving a white border on the left and right hand side. And then we're going to open that up and we're going to attach down the rest of the foliage that I have. And again, using liquid glue this time just to make it a little simpler. But I like doing something on the inside. There's so much in this kit, whether it be ephemera or things that you could die cut if you get the add-on, that, I mean, you, you could add so many things to the insides of these cards. And I love doing that. It, I don't remember exactly when I started doing the insides of cards, but I haven't stopped. <laughs> Even if it's not fully, I'll do something. So that's card number one. And I do like how that one turned out. And you'll see the gemstones there. So let's move on to card number two. I have a bunch of patterned paper, some ephemera. I even have some of the chipboard stickers. We're going to trim this piece down to be, I think, four and a quarter by five and a half inches. So it will be the full front of that A2 size card. I am going to cut down this panel. We're going to make a flag little banner with it. So I cut into the center and then I go from each side into that center and that will make it as oh, well for me at least as straight as possible without using a die. And then I'll start attaching that down using some more of that double sided adhesive. And I picked some fun ephemera for sure. I mean, they're all great, but I think these ones are a lot of fun. So then I'm going to stick that little banner down trying to use my glass mat to make sure that things are fairly straight. We're going to use some double-sided adhesive on the back of the sun, and that is a gold foiled sun, so I think that's really pretty. And then I'm going to use some foam squares on the back of our rainbow. Pop that down, and then we have just a couple of little flowers that we're going to use some of the double-sided adhesive on, and we'll pop those behind. And then I'm going to pull in some of the little hearts. So the kit comes with a ton of little heart ephemera and I'll use some foam squares on I think just one of them and then oh no both of them I do it on both of them <laughs> and then that one sticks out a little so I'm going to trim that down and we'll just stick that one down and then I pull in that chipboard sticker that is the definition of love and then I do bring in one of the puffy stickers that says with love and I put that up top I just think that's so cute and then I'm going to trim this down a little bit so I guess I didn't make my panel fully for, no, I did because I did make it four and a quarter, but I'm just going to trim this down just a tiny bit on each of these sides. Like we're talking an eighth of an inch. So that way it leaves a quarter of an inch. So it is four inches by five and a half inches. So then I can have this little black border, which will make it pop a little bit more. And then I'll adhere down this panel to it as well. 
And I really love how that looks. I'll put some of the leftover paper on the inside using some more of that double-sided adhesive. This one's going to stick off the edge a little bit because it was the same size, but I wanted those to stagger. And then we'll just trim that down. And that's all I'm going to do to the inside. So there is card number two. All right, moving on to card number three. Another fun one that we're going to do using some more of those chipboard frames. And I picked out some plant ephemera. I'm just measuring the inside, the opening, and I want to make, I want to cut my piece of pattern paper to be slightly bigger than that. So that way it'll be right behind there. The pattern paper that I picked for my base is pretty busy. So I wanted something that was a little less busy, a little more solid to go behind those little frames. So that way I could put the plants on there and they would stand out a little bit more. But we're just trimming down this paper. I think I do this four inches by five and a quarter inches. And I, well, actually, I shouldn't say that. It, I think I just did it four and a quarter and didn't cut it down to five and a half inches. So this is still six inches tall. And I, I see the error of my way later, or my, the error of my ways later on. Thankfully, I could still fix it and trim some of that off. But we're going to peel off that release paper, stick this piece of pattern paper behind that, and I'll put one tiny piece of that double-sided adhesive there so that was that way it sticks for sure. Um, but I'll peel off that release paper and then we can stick this down because there's still enough of that double or that self-adhesion for the frame showing. Same thing with this one. And I'm only using two. Typically I would probably use three because, you know, rule of odds. It's more appealing to the eye. But we'll have more going on. So I do have three plants figured out. And I've picked those ones out to be in there. And then I bring in one of the puffy stickers. Stick that one down. Reminder, you are amazing. And then I'll use some foam tape on the back of each of these. Now, I do run out of the foam squares themselves, but this stuff is great because you can use the leftover pieces. Just cut them down because that's basically foam squares also. They're just not in the pretty little square form. So you can still use them, which is what I'm doing. Waste not, want not, right? All right, peel off all that release paper and we'll stick the little plants down inside of those. So cute. One to sit on top of our sentiment. So there's our rule of threes, I guess. And then see, this is where I'm like, oh no, I made it too big. So I do have some adhesive on the back of that. And I'm just gonna stick this inside of my guillotine trimmer and we're going to trim that down. Thankful for the guillotine trimmer because <laughs> oftentimes, you know, I don't get straight lines all the time. So the guillotine trimmer helps me to do that. And then we'll take some of those gems and we'll put those down on the front of this. It's so pretty. And there are three different sizes. You do have a fairly big one, a medium one, and a smaller one. So there you go. That is card number two. No, number three. Number three. Got behind myself there. Card number four is going to be super quick and easy. So you can make a lot of these with it. I have a card panel, one of the panels that came in the kit, and I'm just going to trim this card stock down to be four and a quarter, or no, four inches by five and a quarter. So that will fit perfectly on this four and a quarter by five and a half inch panel. Again, we'll use our double-sided adhesive to adhere that down. So we've got this nice cream border. And then we're just going to use liquid glue to adhere all of these pieces down. I figured that would be easier because we do have some smaller areas. Um, you could probably get away with the double-sided adhesive. You just have to be careful. And I just wasn't going to do that. So I'll adhere all those down with that liquid glue. And then I can, again, bring in a puffy sticker. So this video is coming out, obviously, shortly after New Year. I hope you all are off to a good start for your New Year. Um, mine has been, you know, I started off sick. That's okay. I don't feel like that's going to be the, how my year is going to go. <laughs> I'm excited for how the year is going to go. Um, but yes, we're getting back into it. And stick around because we will be showing off more things. I'll be able to do a few of the things that I want to do a little bit more often on this channel, which will be fun. 
All right, adding some last bits of ephemera on the inside. And then that's going to finish off card number four. Super simple. Happy birthday card. And then for our final card today, I brought in another one of those chipboard frames, the big heart ephemera. We're going to trim this down. Going to go ahead and make it the full size, four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And then we'll use our double sided adhesive to stick our little heart down. And we've got some butterflies there, you can see. We're going to peel off the release paper on our film strip. You could leave those little pieces out. I'm going to pop them back in just because I didn't want that background to show, but you could use those for other things too. And then I'll use that double sided adhesive to adhere down each one of our little butterflies, moving them a different way. And then we'll bring in some of those puffy stickers. This is going to be a congratulations card. So it says congratulations, celebrate every little thing. And it is kind of more down at the bottom, but I'm okay with that. And then I'll bring in some more of that tiny ephemera. We've got hearts. We have a little plus sign, more hearts down at the bottom. We're just using liquid glue to adhere these down, make it simple. But you could get away with using the double-sided adhesive on there. And then we'll attach that down to another one of those card bases. Always trying to make sure that I have it going the right way. I have attached down a card panel to a card base the wrong way more times than I'd like to count. <laughs> and then we'll take some double-sided adhesive and stick some more ephemera on the inside. I've got this cute window. So many cute images in there to build like a little house scene. Peel off these. Stick that down. And that's going to finish off card number five. All right, we're going to show you all of the cards which my it's my favorite thing to do. I say it every time. I'll show you the cards and if you have a favorite, I would love to hear which one it is. I hope this inspires you to want to get a little bit crafty, make some cards. I hope it just inspires you some way or another. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thanks for watching, subscribing, all the things that you guys do. I really do appreciate you and I hope you have a wonderful 2023. We'll see you soon.